Obviously, Fox News is anti-Trump, pro-establishment. They get rid of Tucker Carlson. We know what's going on. Now they're arguing that Trump she must be guilty in some way. Then they go after people like Glenn Beck. They're going to try and take down independent media. We've already got people in the super chat before the show started saying they can't find this show. Well, yeah, this happens all the time. It should appear on the front page of your YouTube cha- of YouTube when you go there. If you're subscribed, a lot of people are like, I can't find it. We've actually had people say they go to the YouTube channel for Timcast IRL and there's no live stream. It's just not there, not visible for them, even though we're live with, you know, 30 plus thousand people watching. If you go to YouTube.com slash live, typically every night we are the number one live show, but people still have a hard time to find. That's one way you can find it. We're going to get in 2024 and you better believe it. They're going to get rid of anybody. Here's what I think. If you're pro DeSantis, you'll probably be OK. If you are pro Trump. You will probably be hidden. I think people, if they want to watch the show, can go to TimCast.com every night yeah. at 8 p.m. And then yep. you can you can link to it from the from the website's front page. So start going. To, if you're having trouble, if you ever think you have trouble or you don't want to ever have trouble, go to TimCast.com at 8 o'clock Eastern. It's right there mm-hmm. in the, and on the homepage. You can link it through to the YouTube if you want to watch it from YouTube or you can just watch it on the website. I think, though, to the Apple point specifically, conservatives have this kind of consensus of thinking that you know corporations are untouchable because we all worship at the altar of the free market right but what we're seeing is that these corporations are taking our freedoms they're acting as tyrants so i think we we need to get a lot more comfortable on the right with you know trust busting certain corporations or really enforcing certain laws and just ensuring that they are protecting the liberties that the constitution entrusts to every single american it's a bigger issue of the republicans they don't do anything yeah. No, they write strongly worded letters. That's, that's right. That's what our party does. I mean, just They're really like, good at it. Yeah, no, we are. I mean, in the wake of the Fulton County indictment, all we're doing is tweeting. We see, you know, Kevin McCarthy and various GOP leaders just putting out statements and fiery tweets. There's zero action. And I think the base wants action. The American people see this stuff. They're enraged. They're infuriated. They want retribution. That's why they love Donald Trump. But I think they're frustrated with the kind of establishment, Washington, D.C. cartel that's just doing nothing. What kind of action could people take? Like legal, you know, righteous action. I, because I'm, I'm racking my brain. What, what could people do in terms of corporations? I mean, there's a lot that yeah. you can do. Like these corporations are too massive. Number one, um, they collude with the government. There needs to be a lot more barriers there. That kind of we we saw with the Twitter files, right? That the government was actually asking Twitter to do things, and then they were, you know, complying in a sense. So we need to be sure that that there are protections in place so that that kind of collusion can't happen. So like. So like make them that's yeah. What 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 would that look like though? Like uh like putting it making them do it in public? I mean there's always can't force people to talk in public. Yeah, I mean I think there needs to be a period of a lot of transparency and we're seeing a little bit of that with the weaponization committee that's happening in Congress right now. We're seeing some of these f- files start to come out and we're getting evidence. Um, so I think we need more of that. I think we need to kind of uncover what's been done and then we can kind of go after these corporations and make sure you know, that they are serving the interests of the American people. When our founders conceptualize what a corporation would be, it was kind of akin to a British charter. It had to serve the common good. It had to be publicly beneficial to the people that lived in that country. And I think now, if you look at most modern corporations, I mean, they act as tyrants. They don't serve the American people at all. When did that happen? It was like 1850s. or When did the modern corporation take over? It was, uh, let's see. The first American corporation was organized in 1894 as Orange County Title Company, succeeding the two businesses, uh, the, the the business of two title abstract companies founded in 1889 and operating in Orange County, California. Is that that, that's like right before Rockefeller like got a stranglehold on Standard Oil on the country with through Standard Oil. And then they eventually broke up Standard Oil, turned it into like six six other oil companies that Rockefeller still had a piece of. So it didn't really And now you have down. multinational corporations too. Like you have corporations that are working at the behest of the global elite, not even just, you know, American centric or focused. They're caring about, you know, what Klaus Schwab wants. And you can't so for the American government to go to like BlackRock and tell it to do something, BlackRock's like, well, where is their headquarters? Is it, is it even in the U.S. right now? I'm not sure. Is it in Switzerland or whatever? But they don't have to because they're not American. But then so we could be like, you can't operate here unless you play by our rules, which as long as we're a, a strong, robust economy and a force that's that's has bargaining power. But if if people don't take the U.S. seriously and we tell Google like, hey, unless you free your software code, you can't function in the United States they might just shut down the united states so it's like and we could do shows of force like that like we could tell apple hey like 
no or Amazon, you know, no more manufacturing in China. And if they do, we seize their boat when it arrives at a port in California. Ooh. I'd love I to mean, see if at any point it was possible Republicans actually exert some kind of power. They just don't. Well, yeah, so. that, 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 that's I, I honestly I think that that's asking more than than is reasonable to but, expect. But, and what would you get from libertarians? They would be even worse with exerting power. They'd be like, no, it's against our ethos.